What's up guys, I'm J Dub, and if you saw the video we did on the DTMF board with the announcer board, I'm gonna show you how we built it. And the heart of this little project is, it's literally this little thing here. It's a little board you get from Amazon, they're 13 bucks, and they work perfect. As you can see, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hook it to a light, but you can hook it up to anything that as long as it does not draw more than 10 amps. Um, right now, we've got one on the repeater, be taking you out there and showing you that this is a plug and play system anyone can do it does have one solder joint you have to make it's not a difficult solder joint it is very tiny though and it's going to take a little bit of a steady hand it's going to take you know a little bit of practice to get it but you can do it it's not it is not that difficult um there's a little tiny pad over here We're, we'll zoom y'all in and get you a little closer so we can see all this but yeah, um, we're gonna get it all laid out, and I'm gonna show y'all, you know, how I hooked it up real quick. This isn't necessarily the proper hookup, but this is good enough to show you the light and to kind of give you the, enough information for you to be able to design and build your own circuit. All right, so now we got you on the small camera. Let's go down here and look at this board. So if you look at it, we have, you know, your power coming in over here. I'm robbing a little bit of power off. This is your hot. This would be your ground. I'm robbing a little bit. This isn't the proper way to do it. Normally you would have this, this common wire. Can we get a pointer in here? Yeah. So normally you would have this wire run into a fused link. And then we have a normally closed over here and a normally open over here. We're going to be using the normally closed because we want this thing to, you know, constantly power something. When power fails and it comes back on, we want it to you know, power the unit back up. Um, the only solder joint you have to do is right here. It's this little pad down here and you'll see it. It's kind of tricky. There, there we go. Now you can see it. You'll see the M0. So we're going to have to bridge this M0 to this M0. That is the only solder joint you have to do. You're going to take a piece of wire basically lay it across there and solder it or solder one side and bridge it over to the other whatever way you can make that work but you gotta solder that little joint up there just the top two so i'm gonna go ahead and get those soldered it is not easy but it's not that difficult um if you have the right soldering iron i do not but we're gonna go ahead and get it soldered up there real quick and then i'll show you how bad it looks when we're done all right and about three minutes later we got it done i just soldered in a, i literally took piece of wire i don't know where i'll put it now so i literally just took a piece of wire stripped it off can you know you might be able to see it just stripped it back cut off you know a section that was about as long as i want it i tend it real quick before i cut it tend it cut it off the length that i want laid it on there and basically just let it reheat and it saw it set right down soldered in place i am not an expert at soldering but there it is looks terrible should function just like we want so i'm going to get y'all set up real quick and we're going to show you we're going to cut this light on and off remember this light could be a repeater it could be your id board it could be a myriad of other things you have to kind of figure out how you're going to wire it up to do what you want so by changing where it wires in you can have interlocks you can make it to where you know factory right out of the gate it just has you know it clicks on for a second and clicks off clicks on clicks off um not really useful for what we need unless you just need to reset your repeater id that would be perfect you could just have it click on that would you know cut it off and then you could have it click off and you know it would go, it would reset back to whatever you wanted it so pretty neat little setup but let's go ahead and look at it and see if it's working all right so here is our board we're hooked up we just have this hooked to a radio right now and let's cut power on so it defaults you see power comes on to it when you cut power to it and when i dtmf into it cuts off now when i want it to cut back on cuts back on now let's say you want to change the password right now the password for each one this is one two three and four to change them you come in here you push this button and you're going to come up to your keypad real simple you're going to hit pound one because that's the one we're changing and i'm going to do three five star and then let go so now we cut it back on and when i do three five 
it should cut that one on. You saw how that one cut on though. You saw number three channel cut on. That's because we started out with a three. So we're going to head and change all these to, the, I'm going to change this one to 12, 13, and 14, and that'll get rid of that issue. Now that should have them all set, so we should be able to do 12, 13, 14. Cut them all on. And now we just cut them all back off, and channel one is 35. So super simple little DTMF board. Um, I'm going to take you up on the hill where we've got one actually hooked to our repeater. So this one, we're going to be taking it and putting it inside the box on the R, what is that one? The R A R R T 97 L. I believe that the new repeater red of us put out. Um, we're going to go ahead. We're going to mount that one in the box with it, have the antenna come out of the box and we'll have a remote cut on and off. So that'll be really good for resetting things that we need to. Um, that one it's ID draws power from the board or from the repeater. So. When we cut the repeater off, it'll cut off. It'll reset everything. It'll also reset the repeater, and that should work out pretty good. We'll be using probably a MERS frequency for that one, just so we don't, you know, they don't interfere with each other. But that will work out really well. And uh, we're not going to do that one yet. I'm going to have to ride up there. So for setting this thing up, right now we've just got the little Quan Shang. It is volume sensitive, so this does use like a Vox. Um, you're going to have to adjust the volume to where it sounds good so far i've only tried this at about eight miles and we've got it to work flawlessly um it's going to depend on your line of sight if there's a lot of static coming into the radio it's probably not going to work as well so just kind of keep that in mind um, at my house i can cut the repeater on and off and it works out pretty good let's ride up to the repeater site i'll show you how it works i'll show you the little setup we've got up there and i'll show you that it's working pretty good and uh, i'll see you guys when we get up there Oh God, no, we gotta do something about that. All right, guys, now that looks better. Remember guys, if someone's gonna let you put a repeater up, go cut their grass. Make the place look better than when you found it. Do your part and be surprised. People are willing to help you out. All right, guys, so we've got our repeater right here. It is offline right now. This is our DTMF system. Guys, you've seen this before. I showed you a video of it. This is the same board we just built at the house. This isn't the exact same one, but it's identical in the way we built it. We're using this radio with a battery eliminator. So we've got this radio with a battery eliminator. If you're going to hook it up with a battery eliminator, you need to get one of these ground loop uh, things. I forget what they're actually called. And the reason for that is a lot, you got to remember the power is coming from this power supply down here for this whole system. And those power supplies are very noisy. And when you hook it up to power, you're getting that extra noise. Now, do you need these extra ferrets or ferret beads and stuff? No, I haven't noticed those making a difference or anything. But I will say the ground loops definitely help. That is a must. Now, um, this is the announcer board side of it. So from here over is just your DTMF system. And you could shrink this up a lot more. And honestly, I could have wired all this down into the fuse panel for this thing. But we didn't, we just put up a separate few system up here and basically just ran two tails down to it. That uh, one of these is powering, so this one over here is powering the repeater circuit and this one is powering the circuit right here, which you can see it thinks it's busy because the repeater is offline. So we're going to go ahead and cut the repeater back on now. I did this yesterday from about three miles away and it was working great. And we're going to go ahead and cut this repeater back on. Now listen. The WRUJ 544 repeater is now online. And we'll come over here to the repeater and you can see it is now online. We can key it up. WRUJ 544 checking the repeater status. Everything seems to be working. Now, let's say we need to reset this little pie right here, which is our repeater ID. I'm hoping you guys will be able to see this. Maybe if I, oh, not use so much Velcro next time. I'm gonna cut the light off. I think, yeah, you can, you can see it blinking. Okay. Can y'all guys still see it blinking? There it is. So we're going to hit its code. Now, this one will not, won't tell you that it's working. But when this one comes back online, you can see it's dead right now. When it comes back, 
You'll hear it come across the repeater. This is the Covington 700 GMRS repeater. CTCSS tone of 151.4 Hz. And that is how that little system works. It said you can get a few miles away. With it inside the building like this, you know, you could run, you know, this is just a simple uh, BNC adapter. You could run this to a coax outside, put it on the roof, and that would work out good. This one seems to be receiving pretty well. This one, our transmit for our, you know, where it announces back to us, I get about three miles of it, and I mean, you can see we're in a cinder block building. But if I run that one outside, you'll see it's working fine. I'm not sure. I don't know why I've got a Faraday bead on that. I guess I had an extra at the house. But anyway, that's this whole little system working. You see, we've got it up here. Everything's working great with it. If we need to reset that ID, which we probably will later because I had it set perfect. Yeah, right now it's going to go off at uh, 2.30 instead of uh, 2 o'clock. So I'll have to reset it later. But I wanted to get it up here. I wanted to show y'all guys just how easy these little, system, these little systems are and a practical use for it. And this, this is a pretty practical use. This just sits up here and runs. Everything is fused. Um, the main power coming up to that circuit is fused with a tent or... I think it has a 7.5 amp fuse. This repeater only pulls about seven amps, which works out pretty well for the system. You can run it, we ran it pretty hard. The relay stays nice and cold all day. You know, none of them are hot. Everything seems to be working really good with this system. We'll revisit this later on and just, you know, kind of play around with it and see how well it works. Maybe we'll eventually run two pieces of coax outside of, um, Put a roof or put an antenna on the roof that might be fun there's already an antenna mount like right above me on the roof so that would be a pretty cool spot um just some different things we could do y'all guys put it down below what you want to see us do with this but we've got it working it works great i'm gonna go ahead and power this repeater back on um you guys saw the hill coming up here <laughs> you're not getting up this in the winter if there's snow and ice on this you're just you're not getting up here to this site unless you walk up here and I'm a fat boy. I'm not walking up here anymore. So, guys, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And like always, take someone outdoors.